Hey everyone, Dobby from New World here, and uh, back at you again with another New World video. So, uh, last time I uh, made a video for you guys, it was about furniture making, and I think around then I was about maybe 150, 155 level in furniture making. And uh, I'm happy to check in that, as you can see here, I am now level 200 furniture making, and boy was that a grind. Uh, I've been here for a while now, I think I've been 200 for, you know, the last few weeks, but um... Yeah, now after, you know, spending some time at level 200 furnishing and after doing the grind of getting here, I figured I'd make a video to kind of reflect on the process and share some knowledge with you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to go over a bunch of stuff in this video, uh, the easiest way to level your furniture making, uh, and then I'm going to answer some questions like, is it profitable? What are the different storage options? What the hell is going on with trophies? And uh, I think maybe at the end, I'll show you guys some different uh, cosmetic sets that you can end up making if you end up maxing out your furniture making. So, uh, yeah, I guess before we get into the video, uh, you know, if you could like and subscribe and comment, that would help me out a ton with the algorithm. Uh, I've been getting a lot of views on these last couple uh, New World videos, uh, and it looks like you know, 99.9% .9 of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you could subscribe, that would mean a lot. Also, if you're interested in watching me uh, play New World, you can ch check out my live stream. Uh, I stream pretty often on twitch.tv slash Dobby NW. Um, yeah, you can check me out there, whether I'm running Outpost Rush, farming Ori, whatever the case may be. Swing on by and say hi. I'd love to see you guys there. So yeah, let's just hop into this video. Uh, I guess, like I said, let's start with the best way to level furniture making, okay? And it's actually pretty straightforward. You're really only gonna need three things from zero all the way to 200, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna be making when level leveling your furniture making is you're gonna wanna be making uh, anything from this ash set right here. So if you look right here, there's uh, the ash full bed, the... Uh, ash sheets bunk bed, uh, ash armoire, ash small bookcase. All this stuff takes about the same mats. And if you look here at the bottom right, 282 uh, experience for furnishing. That's where it's gonna tell you how much experience you're gonna get per craft. So yeah, any of these things will be where you start. So zero to 55, make any of these. I think I made the bunk beds. You, again, random, just cho choose any of them. They're all the same thing. So I made bunk beds from zero to 55. Once you get to 55, you will uh, be able to learn a schematic to make the tree stump side table. Now, this is the best uh, uh, schematic to learn because the resources it requires are very low in comparison to others. Uh, if you're looking for this on the trading post, the name of the schematic is actually Stump Stool. So it's kind of a little misleading because the name of the item is Stump Side Table, but the schematic you need to learn for this is Stump Stool. So get your hands on that schematic and learn it because you won't you won't have this uh, you won't be able to craft this by default. You'll need to learn that schematic before you can craft it. So get to 55, get your hands on this schematic. And then uh, start making these. You're gonna be making a lot of these. You're gonna be making tree stump tables all the way from 55 to level 150, which sounds insane, but it, it's really the most efficient way to level this stuff. Um, I don't have an exact number for you, but the amount of wood and weak solvent that you will need to make these from 55 to 150 is absolutely insane. Um, furnishing is not a profession for the weak, so... <laughs> If, uh, if you don't want to dedicate a ton of time to this stuff, I'll tell you now, just don't get into it. Find a different furniture maker on your server and have them make you whatever you want made. But uh, if you have the, the heart to go for it, um, get ready to chop down some trees. You'll get your logging up, you know, maybe uh, pop a movie on your second monitor or something and grind it out that way because you'll need a lot of trees, right? So that's going to be from level 55 to 150, right? Then when you get to 150, you'll unlock a new stain called the mahogany stain, right? And this uh, will be what you're gonna be making from 150 to 200. Um, it's quite easy, you just need pure solvent and oil. Uh, pure solvent you can is the tier five uh, resource that you can find uh, from uh, chests and whatnot. Uh, you, pretty easy to get your hands on. I think you buy it from the training post for pretty cheap. And oil, uh, you'll have to mine. Um, it's pretty cheap to buy two, but you're gonna need a lot of oil. Uh, I noticed when I was making this from 150 to 200, 
pure solvent wasn't really the issue. The issue ended up being that I needed a lot of oil. You guys might have different economies on your guys' server and maybe it's, you know, the reverse, but for me, oil was the big bottleneck. So this is what you'll be making from 150 to 200. I'll recommend now, you know, I can always make a, make a video. Ooh, I can always make a video on this at some point, but if you're um, looking to farm oil, I'd recommend going to Weaver's. Uh, right kind of down here south of the settlement, uh, in this area, this area, and down into this area, there's a lot of oil to be farmed. I could always make a video on this. Comment below if you guys want to see an oil farm video. But this is where I came when I was grinding out my mahogany stains. And um, yeah, so you'll be making mahogany stain from 150 to 200. And uh, then you'll get to that pretty 200 number and you won't have to worry about that ever again. You'll <laughs> You'll be maxed out and that grind will be over again. This is a tough, tough grind. I'll pop a uh, graph on the screen right now so you can see the XP required for furniture making uh, compared to other professions. But man, do we have it hard. I think we're like something like five times as much XP as the next as the next one below or something like that. It's it's nuts the amount of XP you need. So again, if you're going into this, you're going to need an absurd amount of wood, an absurd amount of oil, an absurd amount of pure solvent an absurd amount of weak solvent too as well so I'm, i've warned you okay i've warned you don't say i didn't warn you um so yeah now you're now you're 200 furniture making and i guess a question that a lot of people have before they get into this and they say oh is furniture making profitable and you would think like oh maybe it is you know you can make trophies once you get to 200 you can make major trophies uh you can make storage chests right uh you, you automatically will be able to make the iron storage chest at 85, right? That's something that you'll automatically have. And then if you're lucky to get your hands on the star metal storage chest schematic, you can make the hope storage chest at 145. So people ask, you know, is this profitable? Can I sell this stuff? And honestly, if you're getting into furniture making for the money, I wouldn't do it. Um, there's much, much easier ways to make money in this game. Um, Let's see, the storage chest itself, just to give you a rough breakdown on what kind of money you could see. Hope storage chest, right? It requires one greater rune of holding, which uh, costs 1,000 gold and 5,000 faction tokens at your faction representative. So that alone is a little bit of a grind. You'll have to grind out the tokens and then it costs 1k gold to just get this alone. And then you need all these other resources. I mean, it's not a ton, right? And then you make the chest, right? I think right now the chest on my server is selling for like 1,800 gold. <laughs> right so you're spending 1k to make 1800 okay it's like 800 gold that you're making off of that that's taking the time that it takes to farm all these mats like honestly if you're trying to make money there are other ways I, i'd be glad to make videos on other ways to make money in new world if that's your issue so there's that and then there's there's trophies the other kind of utility that you get when you uh level furnishing everything else is cosmetic other than storage chests and the uh and the trophies here and again, people think, oh, maybe making uh, trophies is profitable. Well, not exactly. All these minor ones, uh, you know, they require a pretty low amount of re uh, resources to make, but they don't sell for much. Maybe they sell for a couple hundred gold each, really not much. Then, you, then you'll eventually get into your basics. You, again, you think, you know, maybe it's worth it, but the resources you need, these these epic and for the luck trophy, the legendary resource you need for these are so scarce and hard to come by um, and sell for so much on the trading post themselves that the idea of acquiring those resources and then selling the trophy after that, it's just, it's not a good money maker, right? Have I made money off of furniture making? Mm, if I didn't, if I didn't include the money that I've spent because i did buy some of the resources i needed while leveling it if i didn't include those resources into like my you know net total uh that i've made off of furnishing sure i've made a little bit you know i've probably sold maybe maybe i sell one hopes chest every like you know 48 hours I, that's honestly maybe even longer than that right maybe i'm selling one hopes chest every like four days on the trading post um, and then I've done, you know, I've done a little bit where I, you know, type in global and I say, Hey, you know, I'm a level 200 furniture maker. I can make you whatever you want, you know, and maybe I'll make, you know, a couple hundred gold tip off of doing crafts for other people. Um, maybe total I've made four or five K gold doing furniture making. And that's over a lot, a lot, a lot of hours played, right? 
Again, I'll just emphasize it. If you're trying to make money in this game, there are much easier ways to do it. Don't go furniture making to make money. Um, I guess let me just touch again on the storage chest since I kind of just grazed over that real quick. Um, you have the lowest storage chest here, the hewn log storage chest. This grants plus 200 storage per chest to your house, right? You have the iron storage chest. This grants plus 300. Hope storage chest. This grants plus 400. And then I don't think it's in the game. It might be in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I haven't seen it on my server, but there's a schematic for an oracal or um, oracalcum storage chest. I think it's called the like oracalcum gold brace storage chest schematic or something like that. And that would grant plus 500. I haven't seen the schematic or the chest selling on my server. For all I know, it's maybe not even in the game yet. Um, that's the storage chest explained. You can have four of uh you can have four storage chests in the highest tier house and then uh each diminishing tier you can fit one less chest in so your your highest tier house you can fit, fit four chests in the next three chests two chests and then one chest for your lowest tier house so that's a huge advantage to buying a bigger house in a city that you do a lot of trading in is that you'll be able to have a ton of storage you know I put four uh, Hope's chests in my Everfall house, and I have plus 1,600 storage because of it, which is super, super nice. Um, and then, again, just since I kind of went over it really quickly, with the trophies, you have your minor trophies, um, and then you have basic trophies, and then you have major trophies. The major trophies you can make at 200. The reason why you don't see any ba uh, any major trophies on my... Um, on my on my list here is that you need to have the legendary resource in your inventory in order for the schematic to appear um so for instance i have the epic resource for these basic ones for instance this bark flush here i have this in my inventory which is why it's showing me that i could theoretically make this and the way the trophies work is you make the minor trophy and then in order to make the basic trophy you need that uh, epic resource along with the other resources but then you also need the minor trophy. Essentially, you convert each trophy to the higher tier. So you take a minor trophy, and in order to make the basic, you put the, ba the, put the minor trophy in and upgrade it to a basic. And then in order to make a major trophy, you put the basic trophy in along with the legendary resource, and it'll upgrade to a major. Um, I've made one major trophy for myself, and I've made other major trophies for other people. I've made a bunch of fishing major trophies. Uh, I did one, I think it was an engineering major trophy. The major trophy I have for myself is actually the uh, the corrupted major trophy, which gives me, I think it's 10% damage buff against corrupted enemies, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, that's the rough rundown on furniture making. Uh, I guess just if we wanted to think about schematics, uh, think about schematics for the cosmetic sets, the four main cosmetic sets that you'll run into in the game is the maritime cosmetic set the sea foam cosmetic set the bloody velvet cosmetic set and the gothic velvet cosmetic set i happen to have all the beds for those sets but um let's see if i can show you an example but there's other pieces that fall into those schematic sets for instance there will be a fancy chair a velvet stool um and i think there's like a dining room table i think there's also yeah there's there's curtains as well so I just happen to have all the beds for those sets, but um, I haven't been able to acquire all of the pieces yet. That's something that I'd love to do. Actually, in here, I'll, I'll kind of end the video this way. Let me run over to my Everfall house. Uh, I've made all the beds for each of those sets, and I have them upstairs in my Everfall house. So I'll show you guys those real quick so you can just see what they look like. Maybe maybe you guys are watching this video and you're curious what what cosmetics you can, you can make with... Uh, with high furniture making, and the, this will give you a rough rundown. So this is the maritime uh, bed, this is the seafoam bed, this is the bloody velvet bed, and uh, whatever the last one was. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember off the top of my head. I said it a second ago. Just go reference that one for uh, for this set. But this is what they all look like. If, uh, if you wanted to like choose a cosmetic theme to go with, here's a rough idea of what they look like. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, I've also built a, uh, a oop, I've also built a staircase for my house, which is quite, quite awesome. I can now get onto the roof of my Everfall house, which I think is hilarious. I was inspired to do this by a Reddit post, but, um, yeah, now I have a, uh, I have a rooftop, uh, area that I can come hang out at, have, have friends over for some rooftop parties. Oops, I tried to sit in the chair. That didn't exactly work. Let's see. There we go. 
Got a nice view of the trading post and the town square from up here. So I thought that was pretty fun. I got a dog up there in a dog bed. But yeah, I guess I'll end the video here, guys. Uh, feel free to comment below if there's anything that I uh, happen to not answer regarding furniture making. But I feel like I touched on everything. I wish you luck if you're about to embark on the 200 furniture grind. It is not easy, like I said. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video and learned anything, please uh, please subscribe and like. It helps me out a ton with the algorithm. Uh, we just passed 300 subscribers, and I guess 500 is our next goal. So if we get to 500, that would be awesome. Um, if there's any video concepts that you want to see, uh, if it's if it's even how to build a staircase on your house or whatever, like I did to get up here, just comment it below, and uh, I'll I'll make a video for that. I'm I'm open to any video ideas, so comment any video ideas you have, and I'll uh, I'll make them for you guys. I hope you're having fun in your new world adventures, and uh, until the next video, see you guys. Bye.